So this is just a quick test to see if this is going to work. So I got a uh, current clamp around one of those orange wires underneath the uh, car here uh, from, coming from the battery pack. And got up here a meter um, that is showing me, well it's showing me volts DC but that's uh, one amp per millivolt. Um, and so I'll just turn this on and then we'll go ahead and just turn on the heater and see if we see a change here because um, that'd be the easiest easiest thing to detect I imagine so let's see here so currently I have that just running normal um, I'm going to turn the car on now so that is with the car on so we're showing uh, I guess one amp <laughs> and then uh, you can see our meter doesn't show any anything happening here so then I'll, I'll stay on this guy over here while I turn the heat all the way to maximum. It's on fan speed too, and I'm going to go to maximum on the uh, heater dial there. The economy gauge isn't showing, well it's showing a very slight amount right now. Um, doesn't look like it's kicked it into full speed yet. Still not, I mean it went, it went about to the halfway to the dot there. So. Let's just see if it really kicks it in the high gear. There you go. Now the the economy meter is almost at the first dot when that thing went up to, to 0.9. So i um, not sure how. There you go. Now we're definitely at the first dot. So it seems like it's kind of pulsing it uh, as, it, as they talk about there. Let me see if I can show you this a little bit closer. So that's showing, you know, right at almost the one dot mark. I wonder if it changes if I go to full fan speed. Um, let's try that. So I'll go to number four fan speed. So now it looks like we are holding at uh, around 10 amps. And the economy meter also seems to be uh, at that first dot pretty consistently now. And uh, we're at you know, 10, 11 amps there. So, um, so the fan speed seems to be affecting it in some way. Well, I just turned it down as you can hear. But uh, anyhow, it is a proof of a concept working. So hopefully uh, you can get one of those little split core uh, current sensors that can just kind of live under there. And I'll hook it up to one of my little uh, microcontrollers. Do, do some fun stuff with that.